Welcome back folks to another exciting episode of Wrath of the Lamb. Last time we just barely managed to get this little challenge here done. Now, as I said earlier, unless I'm mistaken, we got all these characters done with Satan. So we still have to defeat Isaac with a couple of them. And, I don't know, I haven't played as Samson in a while, so let's give him another spin and see what happens. Curse of the Lost is a pretty good curse to happen, actually, considering this is the very first, uh, very first floor, meaning that all the rooms will be easy, or relatively easy at least, um, and thus we'll have more of a chance to get keys, bombs, and everything else we need. So this item right here is not the greatest. Anarchist Cookbook spawns six troll bombs, which we cannot control at all. But it might come in handy if we want to bomb our way somewhere, for example to that chest there. In fact, I think we're gonna use it right now and hopefully it'll blow up some of these rocks. Yeah, this should blow it up. Alright, we get access. And we get a nickel and a key, that's pretty good. Especially since we'll need keys for the next floor. Right. Let's explore everything here and hopefully pick up some useful uh, keys, bombs, coins, whatever. I'm happy with pretty much anything right now. Right. So far so good. Couple of these gapers here, not a big problem, at least unless they decide to flank me, like the one over there is trying to do. But uh, we kind of outsmarted his, his buddy there, so that trap didn't work, luckily. Luckily Samson starts out pretty fast on his feet, even though his damage is rather low. Uh, so we can at least uh, outrun most enemies. A couple of hoppers, they shouldn't be a big deal since they don't really attack you unless they get too close. Only then do they start to actually home in on you. Right, uh, come on. Right, another chest. The tick! Ah, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I had several runs now, in which I could have picked up the Polaroid, but uh, the pi the tick prevented me from doing so. A bit conflicted here, because I do like the tick as a trinket, but uh, the fact that I cannot change the trinket afterwards is a bit bad, as was this attempt to avoid enemies here. I kind of froze up there. Right, come on. Yeah, come towards me. Like so. Um, a key? You know what, we're gonna try it, why not? Let's try it again. There we go, we should get a key here. And not even get blown up, isn't that nice? Uh, no thank you, I don't like you. I do like this room though. And another key. This is quite, quite great so far. Except for that one hit I took, but uh, otherwise I really can't complain about the loot we're getting. This could be a slightly tricky room because of the pooters, but uh, in general we should be able to take some shots and uh, not even get into trouble. There we go, pretty much done. And a couple of bombs, that's great too. I think uh, we're gonna spend one bomb in the likely location of the regular secret room. Looking for the top secret room or super secret room or whatever seems a bit of a waste at this point in time. Oh, it's not here. Where else could it be? I don't see any other obvious location. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it has to do with the fact um, that this is a cursed floor and as such maybe the the secret room is in some weird location. Now, do I pick it up? No, I'm not gonna pick it up. Would have been a great help, honestly, but uh, I I don't know. I don't want to limit myself to it. Not this early in the game. I don't know what the Polaroid itself does, simply as a trinket. Uh, and I don't know what exactly it does when you get it to Isaac, although I think it unlocks another boss or something. But uh, we'll, we'll have to see about that when it happens. Also, um, not picking up the tick this early on might also be a good idea. Simply because uh, we may want to pick up something like flat penny or, or burnt penny or something, should we come across it too. 
supply ourselves with uh, with bombs and keys after all. All right. Monstro can take a lot of damage, but uh, this shouldn't be too hard. I mean, Monstro is a very simple boss if you kind of figured out his pattern. I'm not going to taunt him too much because otherwise I'm just going to get hit and then I'm going to look stupid. But uh, we should be done here shortly. Right. There we go. Uh, not the greatest of items. Speed up will allow us to navigate some more of these enemies, but uh, I was kind of hoping for damage or health. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Oh, this is a bad room. Immolators hoppers can take a whole ton more damage than normal normal enemies. Uh, they also think they are faster, which makes them much more dangerous. Yeah, there we go. Come on. I don't like these. They're kind of like the jumping spiders, oh god. Uh, kind of like the jumping spiders from the catacombs and at uh, the cellar, rather. And as such, also pretty big trouble. Obviously, we cannot go into the curse room now since I lost my soul heart. Uh, let's uh, let's clean up this room. And there we go. Might be a chain reaction. No, it's not. How about you? Uh, you go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. No, no. Wrong direction. Whatever. Another demon beggar. What is going on here? We also have an arcade, which we might use later on, although we have very little money. So I don't know how useful that will be. Let's see what's in here. Tons of money. That's great. If we get a little more, we might actually want to check out the shop. Because I could use pretty much any kind of upgrade they have there. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Bit of a strange room, but uh, they happen every now and then. Right. Quite often these enemies will run into the fire themselves and uh, or do that. So that's not a big deal. Though obviously the flies might still be a problem to us. Come on. There we go. I'm definitely gonna put out all these fires since uh, there might be some money inside. Alright, nothing. Oh god, another crappy item. Um, did we have that before? I think we did. Just gonna use it once, just to make sure, but uh, you revel in the beauty. Uh, useless. At least the anarchist cookbook has some, uh, some use, but uh, Mum's bra... Well, I guess it's better than nothing, but uh, still. Not the greatest op of options here. We are gonna spend one more bomb in this area because uh, this might be the location for the secret room. It is. Good, what's inside? Tons of money. Okay, so we are gonna check out the shop and maybe we get something awesome like uh, Holy Grail or something. Right. Let's see here. The candle! Well, this is actually great. I'm definitely gonna buy that may turn everything around. Do I only have one heart at this moment? Uh, we are gonna have to buy the tarot card. It might be a hero font card after all. No, it's the hanged man. Also good. We're gonna keep that. We could actually fly in and out of the curse room with that and only take half a heart of damage. But uh, first we're gonna have to fight this boss. Famine. Not a good boss to fight here. Uh, especially because I'm a bit scared that I keep getting not that great upgrades. Oh, that was good. No, that was not good. Whew. Shouldn't have gotten hit there. Now, going into the secret room. We are gonna go into the arcade. Let's see here. We need some health, just a little bit. Yes! Oh, perfect! I'm getting a, an eternal heart, even. Alright, so we are definitely going to go into that uh, curse room and gonna check it out. 
then we're com gonna come back and get ourselves a hot container. Right, so we need to fly inside to not take damage. Take Guppy's head, use it once because I'm not taking it with me. Um, and then walk out and take the damage. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Right, so let's uh, let's pick up this heart over here. We still have seven cents, which would be enough for another cheap item in the shop. We're not gonna use that just yet. Um, in fact, we're gonna blow some stuff up instead. Full heart. Okay, didn't need that. Uh, we're gonna spend two more cents on these guys. Okay, this guy didn't give me anything. We're gonna blow that up. This guy didn't give me anything either. We get the curved horn, which we unlocked by uh, defeating Satan as uh, Judas. I'm not sure what it does, but I'm, I'm guessing we are gonna take it with us. Let's see what happens. There's our new heart container. Great. Curse of the Labyrinth. Okay, so there's only gonna be a single uh, caves level, which is fine by me. Uh, we will probably come back for this later on. Another blood donation machine, okay. I'm gonna use the candle a whole lot in this run, I can tell. Because I'm kind of lacking in damage. Get some money, that's good. Let's uh, kill that maggot. Do a little bit of sniping with our candle here. Really like this item quite powerful and it really replaces my main attack sort of look at that what do we get a burnt penny well this would allow us to uh, to get more bombs I guess I'm gonna use it for a little while and then we're gonna come back and pick up the curve curved horn right uh, this is not a good room for me gonna have to be a bit tricky about it. Like so. It wasn't too bad after all. Alright. And the fact that it pierces is just so useful. Need some money so I can make use of my burnt penny. No? Oh, one of them survived. Not for long. Mm-hmm. Can't get to it. Not without taking damage. Alright, talk about taking damage. Right, gotta be careful here. Alright, there's the Polaroid. I guess we'll be back for the Polaroid instead and take it with us. Let's see what happens. For now I'm gonna hold on to the burnt penny in order to get a few more bombs if possible. Alright, what's next? There we go, a curse chest and some flies. Mm. Considering what else can be inside those curse chests, that is not that great, but uh, at least it's nothing negative. And we quite often get really bad stuff from it else as well. Of course, these, uh, these versions of the blood zombies are much faster and also more resilient, and a bigger, bigger amount of trouble. But uh, the candle pierces and thus uh, we can actually deal damage to all of them at once, which is really great. Uh, okay. Okay, again, the candle's flame takes out takes out enemy bullets, so that's a great asset. We did not get any uh, any bombs from that coin, though. That's too bad. All right, let's let's keep moving, I guess. Remember the Polaroid. We'll come back for it. Sorry. About that, I'm gonna use it once. 
no bomb. Too bad. Oh, I can't even get to it. I might have just screwed myself over there. Right. Health, please. No, go to. Again, not what I want. Whoa. Gonna have to take him down first. Like so. That that was great. That was a good shot. Again, another key. Hmm. I need some health, dude. Oh god, four of them. I'm dead. Oh boy. Let's restart. That was too bad. This this run had potential. But uh, I keep getting into these bothersome situations. Oh god. Oh god. I'm so dead again, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> this was crazy. Okay, replay. Let's uh, let's just keep trying, <laughs> I guess. Right, this room is much easier. All right, nothing lost, except a bit of my dignity. There we go. But uh, you know, we need to collect some deaths anyway to unlock that item. So. No biggie. A bomb, that's nice. Jumping spider, that's quite less nice. Just gotta take out one or two of them, so I get a little bit of a damage boost. There's one. Two. Right, now it should get easier. Thanks to Bloodlust, which is for some weird reason called Bloody Lust. That Soul Heart will come in handy. And a Forget Me Now. I don't think we had it before, but we unlocked it quite a while ago as a blue baby. Definitely gonna take that, but not use it yet. What this does is it resets the level completely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight this boss. Easy enough. Get whatever item we get from him, and then we use the pill which will reset the entire level and allow us to get another couple of items on this floor. This is actually a really good item to get, at least at the start of the game. Of course, if you get get it like, uh, I don't know, just after entering the room or something, then it would be kind of bad to use, I guess. So, you know, if you're already overpowered at that point with some really tough items or something, maybe even then it would be a good item to use. I don't know. In general, though, it's probably best to get it early on. And in this case, um, resetting this level will also mean that the item room will not require a key, so that's uh, doubly perfect, since we didn't pick up any yet. Right, I'm, I'm gonna take it slow here, not too risky, I just want to take him out without taking damage from his many flies. There we go, still has a whole bunch of them chasing after me, but uh, we're pretty much done here. All right. And we get the magic 8-ball, okay. Tears up is not bad. And a 2 of diamonds, which uh, increases our money, so we're gonna hold on to that. Until we actually have some money. And here we are, again, in cellar 1. Perfect. So now we can add that item to our collection, and we also get the, get the little boon here, by getting to visit another item room and another boss. Both of whom will uh, give us, hopefully, some useful items. Now, the magic 8-ball is not bad, by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, Tears Up is a good good stat to get, but it's certainly not as good as I would have hoped for. So maybe this will put us over the top. Ow. Yeah, I was too careless there. What's this? High Priestess? Not bad. Might use it on the boss. In fact, we're gonna take it with us. Uh, let's bomb this place. 
getting more money, okay. The reason why I'm considering not taking the the High Priestess card with me is uh, that I kind of want to hold on to the Two of Diamonds card until it really makes sense to double our money. Like, I don't know, maybe when we have around 20 or something. 40 cents is pretty much as much as, you, as you'll need, probably. Right, hopping spiders, oh. Damn it. They still get me. Like so, that's incredible. Like, I always underestimate the range that they have, you know? Right... That's a crappy item. But uh, I guess we don't really get another choice, do we? Not very lucky in these past few runs, with my item drops here, as Sansom. Pin, well, we'll have to time it right, I guess. Like when he pops his head out, and then we'll stomp him with the card. Come on. There we go. And again, not a great item. I was kind of hoping for something better than that from this little escapade, but uh, I guess we aren't that lucky. Right, there's one location which looks like the typical secret room, so uh, we're gonna take that. And use our single bomb on it. Hopefully it'll pay off. No, it didn't. Hmm, alright. Gotta keep going. Not doing too well. Although at least we are now in the basement, which is of course a bit easier. I guess we're gonna use the lemon mishap here. Well, no, it's not really. A, it doesn't really make any sense to use it here, since uh, the one of uh, the the flies simply fly over it, and the other enemies run away from me anyway. Just gonna use it on the next room. If I remember correctly, this item is so bad it doesn't even recharge after every room. It takes two rooms to recharge, and it's completely worthless. Uh, okay, come to me. Well, that did pretty much nothing, as was expected. And of course, these hoppers will all become immolated shortly. And I don't really have anywhere to run here, either. This might be another early end to my run here. Right. Gotta try and lure him, I suppose, but uh, it's not that easy. Wow, I actually did it. Right. The boss is right here, but uh, with just one heart, I'm not quite confident enough to attack him right now. Instead, we're gonna look for the... Uh, for the item room. Okay, we got a different boss instead. Let's use the... Uh, Lemon mishap, and well, it actually does deal a ton of damage when it connects, apparently, but uh, that's just so rare. Still don't like it. Stop spawning stuff. Right? Done. We just gotta take care of these maggots. we get only the card, which is okay, I guess, but uh, we're not gonna take it with us just yet. So if I can get another cent then, uh, and then use the two of diamonds, then going to the shop would become feasible. So we may do that. First though, we have to avoid this flanking gaper. Then we'll go to the item room. 
Right. Another key, that's good. Uh, another bad item. It's better than the lemon mishap though, and I don't think we had it before. The hourglass slows down time, that's pretty much it. Slows down all enemies and all enemy projectiles. But it does help, but it's certainly not a good item. Guess I should be happy that I'm getting all these awful items out of the way so that they are in my collection but I don't ever need them again, but uh, still. Hoppers, not a big deal, as long as there's no fire around. Don't quite get the logic of that, you know. You'd think that if they aren't fire, maybe they'd do more damage, but uh, would also have less health or something, but instead they seem to be getting stronger. Whatever. There's a trinket here, I would love to get it, because that means getting more tarot cards, but uh, I don't have any bombs left. Right, so we are gonna use the two of diamonds here, and then we'll, we'll see inside. Well, we could actually buy Notch's axe to get to the... To get to the trinket, but uh, I don't even want that. So we're gonna buy this bomb and this tarot card. Hangman, also a good card, might come in handy later. Let's use the bomb here. Let's use it like in the middle, hopefully it will blow up if there is a, a secret room here. Doesn't appear to be. Trinket, this might change things a little bit. Right. No way we can get into that into that curse room though. Just not enough health there. And we could get to this to this chest. You know what? I think I'm gonna do it. These chests sometimes also contain items. No, this one doesn't. But uh, it has a magician card and a bomb. Well, I'm not sure if that paid off right there. Might have, but. Uh, Right, I guess we're gonna use the Magician card on the boss fight, as well as the Hourglass, and then we'll take the Lover's card with us. Right, ah, uh, we have two small champion monsters, those are not that big a deal. Although, of course, there's much more in terms of projectiles on the screen. As you can see, they are slowed down immensely. They also have much less health individually. I'm guessing they simply have half the health of a normal monster, but I'm not sure about the exact numbers, so... Right, we're simply gonna uh, fire away at these guys and hopefully one of them will die soon, but uh, I haven't exactly focused on one or the other, so that's uh, unlikely to happen. They'll probably die around the same time, best as I can figure. Alright, now it's about time that one of them dies, but uh, yeah. Oh, man. He's just one of you. Alright. Now things get a lot easier, of course. And we should be able to end this without taking any further damage. There we are. Another crappy item. What's going on here? That's horrible an awful, awful item. I mean, sure, I can go to the shop on the next floor, I guess, but... Uh, uh, well, we keep going for a little while, at least. And uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Not happy. Not happy at all with, with the drops I'm getting. Alright, we get another uh, Caves XL. So we're gonna be here for a little while. Unless these guys touch me, of course, which uh, will result in instant death. Since uh, they deal an entire heart of damage and they're kind of flanking me right now. And there we go. Okay, not too happy with this run. But I think we'll end this episode here because we've died enough times as sense now. We may get back to this in the next episode or maybe we'll do another challenge. Because... Uh, that went horrible, and this time I, I'm not even gonna take all of the blame because uh, these item drops were just pathetic. Well, regardless, see you in the next episode, folks. Bye.